Today, we have something to engage fans of Adrenaline Rush as we look into the life and career of one of the front players in the drag race industry, Lizzie Muzi. Hey, Lizzie, calm down. He knows he's slower than you and he's trying to get in your head. I lost against him on round three. He left out of the hole, so I just, I don't know. Pretty much we detuned this car to calm it down so I can make an A to B run. For quite a while now, she has had a really successful career racing with street outlaws breaking records and performing amazing maneuvers that have kept fans coming for more. Sadly, that career might be coming to an abrupt halt as Lizzie is currently facing a life-changing moment. Let's dive right into it. Lizzie's involvement in drag racing isn't by chance or accident, having come from a family of thrill-seekers who have been in the industry for a while. So, just after her days in high school, she quickly switched to that which she was meant for and quickly became quite a sensation in the tracks, inspiring others, especially women who would want to venture into the industry. Born into the family of Pat and Elizabeth Muzi, Lizzie was no stranger to the racing game, as Pat himself was really active on the tracks in the 1970s. Also, Lizzie's mom, Elizabeth Muzi, is a retired car racer from Stockholm, Sweden. Pat might not have had the same background that Lizzie had, but his love for the track still leads him to this day. Pat's father made a career building diners, and Pat had helped his old man by transporting the timbers used. But behind the scenes, he was getting involved in something that he loved, which later turned out to be his true passion. Looking at some of the interviews he has granted about his early life, he confirms that he started his career in drag racing as a teenager. This speaks of burning desires that materialized into something beautiful, being the motivation for many adrenaline junkies to come together and witness these breathtaking moments. Little wonder where Lizzie got the drive to make her own entry into the career path at only 16. While other kids were playing with dolls or toy cars, Lizzie, just like her father, was mesmerized by the raw power and precision engineering that went into these fire-breathing machines. Pat's father, though not initially involved in his son's love for the adrenaline rush, later got all caught up and was a major support for Pat during his racing days. Reminiscing on what those days felt like, Pat obviously acknowledges his father's influence on his career. A man who was willing to learn and relearn in order to see his son succeed in the tracks. Pat hasn't left that support to be for nothing, as he has been a major influence in the life and career of Lizzie Muzi, guiding and training her, while providing her with equipment and gears that will see her ahead of her opponents on the tracks. At one point, this contribution had saved Lizzie's life after a crash that would have been fatal if the integrity of the car she was in was in any way under question. Pat had a really successful career in drag racing back in the day, racing the likes of Jenkins and Nicholson. At the moment, he has focused his energy on running Musi Racing Engines, a business that he has been running since 1969. The business has grown to become a family business and Lizzie also spent time there, helping her father build some amazing machines that have put them at the top of the industry. At some point, Pat had admitted that he almost lost touch with the business, wanting to focus his energy on racing back in the days. But back in 2020, the business celebrated 50 years of operation and is still waxing hard. Lizzie's career. Lizzie made an official entry into the racing industry at the age of 16 in 1999. She first built her career in the junior drag race from then up until 2007. Among people who saw her then, Maybe a few might have believed that Lizzie was made for so much more because some years later, Lizzie started making moves that shook records and started making a name of her own in the tracks. Family affiliations must have been the bedrock of Lizzie's success as everyone in the family is involved in life on the tracks. Even Lizzie's sister Patricia Muzi is a car racer, though she might have been drowned in the big achievements of her father and older sister. By the time she was a teenager, Lizzie wasn't just watching. She was learning from one of the best in the tracks. While she made efforts in the tracks, she was also part of the family business. Her playground wasn't a jungle gym. It was her dad's renowned engine building shop, Pat Muzi Racing Engines. Right from the beginning, it was clear that Lizzie wasn't some privileged kid coasting on her family name. She started at the bottom literally scrubbing grease off grimy tools and sweeping up metal shavings. She could have gone ahead to college like her peers, but 
She knew what she wanted and was laser focused on getting there, no matter the cost. Lizzie's father, a champion himself, knew the true value of hard work. He instilled in her a deep understanding of every nut and bolt, every intricate system that made a drag car a force to be reckoned with. This wasn't just about driving fast. It was about understanding the very soul of the machine. And beyond that, Pat admitted in an interview that as a drag racer, having other businesses by the side always came in handy. That way you're able to focus on the thrills of the game, opening your eyes to approaches that will enhance your skill, which goes well beyond seeing the tracks as a means to make ends meet. Fun fact, both Lizzie and Trisha are named after their parents. Lizzie takes her mother's name while Trisha has a female version of her father's name. Talk about keeping the energy within the family. Also, later in this video, when we talk about the personal life of Lizzie Muzi, we will get to learn that both sisters had also jinxed it by getting romantically involved with racers. Now, back to Lizzie's career. Lizzie's debut was certainly not a fairy tale start. There were stumbles, there were setbacks, but with each race, she honed her skills, learning from every missed shift, every imperfect launch. The racing community, a notoriously tough bunch, began to take notice. Here was a young woman with raw talent, an unwavering work ethic, and an infectious enthusiasm for the sport. Beyond her interest in the game, she had a really big shoes to fill, which made it even more difficult for her initially. As fate would have it, it didn't take too long for her efforts to start paying off, and she soon became a fan favorite while setting some pretty interesting records. By 2014, the world was ready to witness the rise of Lizzie Musi, and she was coming with a bang. She showed the world that she wasn't just another rookie or daddy's girl. She was a force to be reckoned with. Competing in the Professional Drag Racers Association, a grueling test of skill and machine, Lizzie left her mark. That season, Lizzie didn't just compete, she dominated. She clinched the coveted Rookie of the Year Award, a testament to her relentless pursuit of excellence. That day, Lizzie became the first woman in the competition to break the 200 MPH record in the 8th Mile Pro Mod Racing in the Middle East during the National Pro Nitrous Race. One thing was certain in all of these, this wasn't just a personal victory. It was a shattering of stereotypes, proving that drag racing wasn't just a man's world. Just like that, news of Lizzie's exploits spread like wildfire. Racing purists were captivated by her technical prowess, her ability to not only drive but also understand the intricate workings of her machine. The media couldn't get enough of her. Her infectious smile, her unwavering determination and her passion for the sport resonated with fans everywhere. Since she is part of a business that handles racing vehicles, one can say that her involvement in the process of making her own vehicles might have been an added advantage to her. That way, she owned every component and feature that went into the making and tuning of her race cars. In fact, one actually saved her life at some point. Spread to TV personality. Due to her growing recognition in the industry, Lizzie witnessed a transition into the television screen in 2015. Featuring in the movie Adrenaline, a story about a drag racer who becomes a paraplegic and undergoes a religious conversion. In Lizzie's story, this was just a step leading to something far greater, as she later made her appearance in another television documentary series, Street Outlaws, in 2018. Drag racing purists might scoff at reality TV, but for Lizzie, it was a chance to showcase the sport to a whole new audience. Street Outlaws a show that put the drama and competition of underground street racing on display, became her new stomping ground. Here, Lizzie wasn't just facing meticulously tuned machines. She was up against the unpredictable nature of street racing, from uneven pavement to surprise challenges. This show marked a pivotal point in Lizzie's life, as every other thing in her life started materializing while she was on the show including the one event that might likely be the end of Lizzie's career. Just like her father, Pat, Lizzie thrived under pressure. She battled legendary racers like Big Daddy Dave and Daddy Dave himself, proving her mettle on the unforgiving streets. The show's viewers, a mix of hardcore drag racing fans and newcomers to the sport, were captivated by Lizzie's charisma and her ability to hold her own against the seasoned veterans. The run wasn't all smooth for Lizzie, after all. 
As if on a build-up to unfortunate events in her life, September 10th, 2023 came with major baggage for Lizzie. On that fateful day, while on an episode of Street Outlaws No Prep Kings, which was being shot at a Tucson dragway, she was up to race Ryan Martin in Bonnie. Bonnie was a name that Lizzie fondly called her 1969 Chevrolet Camaro, which she was going to race Ryan in that day. Just as if she had a cue to what was about to happen on the track that day, she was later seen in a clip uploaded by the Discovery Channel saying that she was on edge about the race. She wasn't really worried about her safety that day. Instead, she was worried about the fact that her car might not exactly be what she needed to win that race against Ryan. Who knows? Maybe Bonnie had developed a consciousness that day and might have been hurt by Lizzie's doubt, as shortly after the burnout, just a few seconds into the actual race, Lizzie appeared to lose control of Bonnie. Within a split second, Bonnie smashed against one of the barricades after what seemed like an early win for Lizzie, bringing the race to an abrupt stop. Medics and concerned parties quickly flocked to the scene, all in a bid to make sure that Lizzie came out from the badly damaged car alive. Looking at the clip, you could see Pat hysterical, obviously wondering what the fate of his little girl was. And on that scene also was Kai Kelly, who she got engaged to the past year. Luckily for everyone, the safeguards that were put in place in the car played a major role in seeing that Lizzie made it out with very minimal injuries. She was examined and discharged that same day. As if that wasn't enough trouble for that year, Lizzie got the most shocking news of her life later in December that same year. She was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer in December, which had already spread to her lymph node. Since the diagnosis, Lizzie has been quite open with her journey with her treatment and all and we have gathered that she might have ignored some early warning signs, which had resulted in the advancement of the disease. Here, a once vibrant dreamer, who had spared no efforts in reaching for the stars, is faced with what might seem to be the end of her. But her persistence even, in the face of this huge setback, has been amazing. Before these strings of unfortunate events, however, Lizzie had some really heartwarming moments in her life, and one was her love interest with Kai Kelly. As it turned out, life wasn't all about competition for Lizzie. While dominating the track, she found love in the fast lane as well. Fellow drag racer Kai Kelly caught her eye, and their connection went beyond just a shared passion for speed. They were both fiercely competitive, yet understood the unique challenges and triumphs the other faced. Their first meeting was said to have been in Lizzie's father's garage. There, Pat had introduced the duo for the first time. And on that day, a spark ignited between the two, opening another chapter in their lives. Their relationship blossomed on the racetrack. They weren't just rivals pushing each other to be better. They were teammates, strategizing together and celebrating victories as one. In 2017, they made their romance public, sending shockwaves through the drag racing world. There were two rising stars, not just setting records, but also setting hearts aflutter. Fast forward to 2021, the two got engaged in what many would describe as a very unusual way. The proposal came just after a near-death experience by Lizzie on the tracks that day. The whole event unfolded at the end of July 2021. Lizzie was scheduled to race that day at South Carolina's Darlington Dragway, in what would be her third race ever, when she lost control of the vehicle and came crashing. Interestingly, that accident was also her third ride with Bonnie. Some might be pushed to believe that there might have been something the crew was overlooking in that vehicle, as it was just the exact same one that almost killed Lizzie the following year. Also, maybe she was still getting the hang of the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro. Dragzine reported that Lizzie violently struck the guardrail, battering her own body and that of her prized race car, sending her to the hospital for a routine evaluation. But that wasn't all that happened that day. Fortunately for the queen on the tracks, the day was about to get a whole lot better than it had been. She returned to Darlington in order to support her boyfriend, Kai Kelly, who was also racing that day. What Lizzie didn't know at the time was Kai had some plans of his own. According to the comment that she released about the events that day, she said, Toward the end of the night, Kai surprised me with the question. I didn't know how to feel. I was so excited and emotional all at the same time. My answer to him was, yes, I want to marry my best friend. He sure made up for the day I had. 
Fans were very happy for the duo at the time and hoped that they would stick together much longer and build great things together. But things don't really work out as planned most times. Though details were a bit scarce. The two really got into it sometime in 2023, not so long after Lizzie got diagnosed with cancer. Lizzie accused Kai of not providing the support that she needed at that very trying time in her life, saying he had bailed after only being around for two chemotherapy sessions. A lot of people were inclined to feel that maybe a lot of things were coming at Lizzie all at the same time with that development. They couldn't have been so wrong, because Lizzie had shared her journey on her various handles, showing one where she had to shave her hair completely as the chemo began to cause hair loss. According to information available to the public, Kai had accused Lizzie of not being totally fair to him in the relationship. To this day, no one is totally sure about the nature of the unfair treatment that Kai had received from Lizzie. Fans have since suggested that the two take things off social media and try to work things out privately. However, with all these challenges, Lizzie exhibits the character of the albatross rising from the ashes. She hasn't let her battle with cancer pull her down. With the news that her tumor might be reducing in size, meaning that she might be responding to treatment, she had gone back to feature in the later episodes of Street Outlaws, shot later that year. As for Lizzie and Kai, we haven't gotten an explicit view of what's going on between the two, but be sure that we will keep you updated if there's any development. Shifting from the sad events that might have engulfed Lizzie's life these past couple of years, the lady has been quite a sensation and an inspiration to many, especially women who might feel that there's no place for them in her field. With clearly defined goals and strong and supportive foundations, Lizzie was able to make her mark. One thing is for sure, Lizzie Muzi won't be afraid to break new ground. She's constantly innovating, pushing the boundaries of what's possible with her team at Muzi Racing Engines. Her dedication to research and development might one day lead to groundbreaking advancements in the world of drag racing. But beyond the trophies and accolades, Lizzie's legacy will be about more than just speed. It will be about the inspiration she sparked, the barriers she broke, and the message she sent to the world. What do you think? Is it likely we might be seeing less of Lizzie on the show given her current condition? Let's talk in the comments and keep in touch for more insightful videos.